Neuralink Corporation, an American neurotechnology company founded by billionaire Elon Musk, aims to implant wireless brain-computer interfaces to help cure several neurological conditions. Founded in July 2016, Neuralink is working on a device capable of implanting fragile electrodes of 4 to 6 micrometers wide into the human brain. In 2019, Musk revealed that the company was testing the technology on rats and aiming to test on humans within a couple of years. On 28 August 2020, Musk did a presentation focusing on the development of Neuralink over the past one year. This video summarizes the key points of the 2020 Neuralink presentation. Watch until the end of the video to know about this breakthrough technology. Also, do not forget to subscribe to the channel for future updates. The presentation began by describing the goals of Neuralink, which aims to solve significant brain and spine problems. Musk stated that Neuralink would be the future solution to neurological problems, from memory loss to brain damage. Neuralink is capable of both recording brain activity and stimulating it. Neuralink can stimulate inactive neurons to reactivate them and solve the neurological problems associated with that neuron. According to Musk, we need an electronic thing to solve electronic problems associated with neurons. Neuralink. This is uh, an extremely fundamental thing. I think a lot of people don't quite understand that. Um, the neurons are like wiring. Um, and you kind of need an electronic thing to solve an electronic problem. He then compared Neuralink with the currently available technology. The current deep brain stimulation technology, which helped over 150,000 people to date, has only 8 to 16 channels per device, and it cannot write high bandwidth signals. Moreover, it destroys a sugar cube-sized brain matter during implant. It also has risk of infection after the surgery. This bed of rigid spikes, inserted into the brain, requires medical experts to use them. On the other hand, Neuralink is just a coin-sized device, which replaces a part of the skull when implanted. Neuralink version 0.9, unveiled on Friday, consists of 1,024 channels per link, and is just 8 mm in thickness. It also includes temperature, pressure, and 6-axis inertial measurement sensors, and has all-day battery life. Neuralink battery charging works on the principle of electromagnetic induction, thus require no external cables for charging the device. According to Musk, the surgery takes less than an hour, and the cost of surgery is a few thousand dollars. An advanced robot performs the surgery, and the patient can leave the hospital on the same day. Implanting the link is a three-step process, which involves removing a coin-sized piece of skull implanting the electrodes by the robots into the brain, and later replacing the removed portion of the skull with the device. The surgery is so precise that there will not be any bleeding or noticeable damage to the brain. Musk said that people who get the Neuralink device are left with a tiny scar after the electrodes are inserted in the brain. So, does this technology really works? The team has an answer for that. They had implanted and tested the device on a pig, which Musk named Gertrude. These are the real-time neural signals from Gertrude. Each of the white dots represents neural spikes, and the blue chart shows the accumulation of neural spikes inside Gertrude's brain. They also predicted the joint's position on Gertrude, with the readings from neural link implants, which almost precisely aligned with the joint's actual position. We can also see the neuron's response to the current from the electrode with the help of a two-photon microscopy technique. The red flashes are the electrode firing and green the response of neurons to the electrode. Neuralink Corporation got the breakthrough device designation from FDA and is closing to the first human trial. Musk hopes that Neuralink someday enable symbiosis between humans and artificial intelligence. So, what do you think about this new technology? Will you be ready for such an implant on your brain? Let us know in the comments. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel for future updates about Neuralink and other tech-related stuffs. And as always, thanks for watching.